good morning students we are going to start the flip flop experiments as you know flip flop is a sequential circuit it can store one bit okay it's a storage device and uh, flip flops are used in sequential circuits they are used in design of counters and in the design of shift registers okay so first we are going to learn jk flip flop now you can see the ic students 7476 ic using this ic we are going to uh, find out the operations of jk d and t flip flop okay so now in this ic there are two flip flops okay one in you can see as you can see this is j not and the other input is k not so either you can use this particular flip flop j not k not you can use for as two inputs or you can use j1 and k1 okay so any any one of the flip flops is going to be used here no need of using both the flip flops so this ic has got two flip flops so in this in this particular experiment we are going to use the flip flop which has which is having inputs j not and k not okay now let us check the circuit diagram of jk flip flop this is the jk flip flop ic students so pin number 4 as you can see pin number 4 is connected to the j input pin number 16 is connected to the k input okay and both the preset and clear are at logic high and uh, the output q is obtained from pin number 15 the output q bar is also obtained from pin number 14 Okay, now you come to T flip flop. So if you short both the pins four and sixteen, okay, you will get the T flip flop. Using the same IC, JK flip flop IC, you can realize T flip flop by shorting four and sixteen pins. Okay, now next is our D flip flop. D flip flop also can be realized using JK flip flop. Only thing is the J and K. inputs are to be shorted and there should be one not get inserted in between okay and the same uh, input pins we can use 4 and 16 we can use uh, for input and uh, 14 and 15 pins are to be used for getting the output students now let us see the truth table of jk flip flop and t flip flop you can see when the clock is zero then whatever is the value whatever values are assigned to j and k there won't be any change okay you can see j and k don't care q and q bar values will be retained now when the clock is 1 j and k values are 0 0 again there is no change so previous output will be uh, retained then when the clock is 1 j is 0 and k is 1 it is in set position uh, sorry reset position so q becomes 0 and q bar becomes 1 now when j is 1 and k is 0 q is 1 and q bar is 0 okay that is your set the next is when both the inputs are 1 1 okay whatever is the previous output that will be toggled okay so if the previous output is 1 q is 1 so it will become 0 q bar will become 1 that's the truth table of jk flip flop students okay so the advantage of jk flip flop over sr flip flop flip flop is that there is no indeterminate output in sr flip flop when both the inputs are one and one okay the output was not determined but that uh, drawback is overcome in jk flip flop now let us go to t flip flop students when the clock is zero irrespective of the value of t the output will remain unchanged now when the clock is one t is zero again there is no change clock is 1 t is 1 whatever was the previous output that is going to get toggled okay that's the truth table for t flip flop now let us see the connection students using we are going to realize jk t and d flip flop using 7476 ic now let us look at the connections students okay okay so we will now this is our ic trainer kit as you can see here we are going to connect the inputs at pin number 4 and pin number 14 See, 4 and 16 are the input pins students 4 and 16 are the input pins as i told you okay and pin number 2 and 3 are connected with the re preset and clear preset and clear will be connected to pin number 2 
and 3. Pin number 2 and 3 will be connected to reset and clear and both are high. You can see both are at high level. Okay. Both are connected to 1. High is 1. And this is the IC students. This is the IC. 7476 IC. Okay. Now you can see the outputs are connected to pin number 14 and 15. Pin number 15 is connected to Q and pin number 14 is connected to Q bar. Now let us give various inputs okay, to J and K. And we will see for various combinations of J and K what are the outputs. Let us see that students. Okay. You can see here students clock. Uh, we are using a monopulse as clock. Monopulse is used as clock. Okay, students. And then, now we will give various combinations. Now, the circuit is on. The trainer kit is on. Now, J is, uh, J is 0, K is 0. Okay, when J and K both are 0, 0, then we will see the output. The output is 0. Okay, you can see this is 0, students. This is 0. Okay, now we will change the inputs. Now it is 0, 1. So 0, 1 again we will we are clicking on the pulse, mono pulse that is acting as a clock. Now 0, 1 means again there is no change. Okay. Next we are going for uh, 1 and 0. Okay. In this case the output should be 1 set. Okay. Now the output is 1. Output is uh, Okay, this is the output you can see students. Okay, so we realized the JK flip-flop now. Okay, now we are giving a clock pulse and we are checking the outputs. 1, 1. Okay, so the output is toggled you can see. The output is toggled. When the inputs are 1, 1, the output is toggled. Okay, all of you can see the output. Okay. Now we will go for D flip flop. Okay. Now, okay. So students, the next uh, flip flop we are going to realize is T flip flop. As you can see in the diagram, students, J and K are sorted. Pin number four and pin number sixteen are sorted. So when we are discussing about T flip flop, again there will be only one input and one output. Okay. So for that, since we are using this JK flip flop IC. So, J and K inputs are to be shorted. Okay. After that, you can see pin number 2 and pin number 3 are preset and clear. Both are at logic 1. And you can uh, uh, see the output. Okay. At pin number 15 and 14. Pin number 15 is Q. Pin number 14 is Q bar. Okay. That is our T flip-flop students. And you can see the truth table of T flip-flop. When the clock is 0, respective of the input, there won't be any change. When the clock is 1 and input is 1, there is no change. When the input is 1, the output will output will be obtained by toggling the input. Now, let us look at the circuit and check the outputs of T flip-flop. Okay. Now, let us come to the uh, kit. In this, you can see pin number 4 and pin number 16. Pin number 4 and pin number 16. Both are sorted. Okay, pin number 4 and 16 are sorted. You see, it is sorted. After that, what we have to do? Preset pin number 2 and pin number 3. They are high. Okay, we will obtain the output at pin number 15 and 14. Now, we have switched on the power. Okay, now the input is 0. The input is 0 now. And you can see the output is also 0 students. Now, we will... Um, uh, change the input. Now the input is 1 students. The input is 1. Now we will see the output there. Okay. So you can see the output is getting toggled. Okay. The output is getting toggled. Okay. Clear. So we realized the T flip flop. Okay. So the flip flop experiments are over students. Yeah, students, look at the D flip-flop diagram. Okay, you can see uh, the input pin 4 is connected to a NOT gate. And the NOT gate output is connected to pin number 16. 
in d flip flop both the inputs are short okay no need of using the other input k only one input is there in d flip flop okay students so this pin number 4 is connected to pin number 1 of the d flip flop and the output of the not gate is connected to pin number 16 and both the preset and clear are at logic high and we can see the output at q and q bar as we are discussing d flip flop students now this is the truth table of d flip flop when the clock is zero there is no change in the output okay when uh, the input is clock is 1 d is 0 q is 0 okay when clock is 1 d is 1 q is also 1 okay this is how we realize the d flip flop now let us see the trainer kit and uh, we will give the inputs and see the output now okay students so as you can see we are inserting a not ic okay now pin number 4 of the jk flip flop okay or the 7476 ic we are pin number 4 of 7476 ic we are connecting to the pin number 1 of not ic look at the connection students look at the connection students okay so ground and vcc are connected now pin number 4 is going to get connected with pin number 1 of you can see pin number 1 of not gate is connected to pin number 4 of 7476 ic okay then ha uh, the output of the not gate is obtained from pin number 2 you can see pin number 2 not ic okay that is going to be connected to pin number 16 okay pin number 2 we are going to get the output of not gate pin number 2 is connected to pin number 16 of our 7476 ic okay now we are switching on the trainer kit and we are going to check the output for different combinations when the output is zero sorry this zero then we'll see the corresponding output output is also zero okay now when the output is when the input is one then the output is also one student so this is a data transfer flip flop whatever is the input the same output is going to be obtained using the d flip flop i hope all of you are able to understand the d flip flop operation next we will be learning t flip flop